see another dope video from your wifey's favorite console king. But you might, you better recognize. We're giving you a live look inside the stadium. Arms are loose, hamstrings have been stretched, shoulder pads and helmets have been bumped, and soon the hitting will commence. Time for ESPN's college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call. Brad, take it away. This one should be a great one. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews. Nice to have you along with us. And we're going to be kicking off under the lights thanks to Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Our matchup features the Delta Devils and the Jaguar. From the Jaguar. If you're hoping to predict a winner here today, you might as well flip a coin. It's that close. These are the matchups you just love. These two teams are so much alike that it's got to be a really hard fought and close game all the way. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Delta Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Craig with the option. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 37. Option. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. five-yard line. It's second down. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Looking to throw. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinators. And he adds the extra point. 
nice seven play 76 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard you know I know we live in an era of the spread and people expect offenses to spread you out and throw the football but I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now, what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I look for this offense to go back to some more straight forward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Ah. Nolan, options out. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Everybody on their feet. He's scrambling. Right down at about the 37-yard line. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Here's another third down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The sack makes this fourth and very long. Stanley is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Return for a game of four yards. They'll take over at the 40. Here's the halfback, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gardner picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 41. Concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Setting up the play action. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do in this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. So make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to get an open target for the quarterback. Tackle that producing pickup. Gardner gains about five yards on the run. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 26. We're through one quarter. The Jaguars with a touchdown lead. 